I'm Miss Peterson and I am the PE teacher at Weaver. Hi 622 students, I'm Miss Huntley and I teach STEM. We are here today to create a new jumping mechanism for our jumping unit called a Chinese jump rope. And so we're going to use the engineering and design process to create one because our problem is we don't have one at home. So Miss Huntley will explain a little bit more about what we're going to talk through. Thanks Miss Peterson. So of course we're going to use all five steps again. Ask, we asked what's the problem and of course we don't have one like Miss Peterson said, so we're going to build one. Imagine we thought of different ways and materials we could do this and again we decided on rubber bands. Plan, we got our materials together, figured out how we can connect them and we'll show you because right now we're gonna do the create step together. We're gonna zoom in so you can watch as Miss Peterson shows you how to connect the rubber bands to build a Chinese jump rope. Of course, improve, you'll do that along the way. If something's not working, you'll go back, see how you can fix it and make it even better. All right, I'm gonna zoom in so you can watch as Miss Peterson explains how to do it. So to create a Chinese jump rope, I have found that instead of just tying them together, you can take the loops, bring one through, and then bring it through the other end, pull it, and that will connect them. I'll do another one. So you have your loop, you bring it through, and you bring the other part through the first part, and pull it. I'll do one last one. Loop it through, bring it through the little part of the loop, and pull it. And it continues on, and eventually you will have a full Chinese jump rope. When you get to the very end, you have to tie the very end together in a knot. But you will have a rope that looks like this, and now we'll see how to use it. So normally if we were at school, our Chinese jump ropes are also elastic and we have some that are two foot holds and some that are one foot holds. If you don't have somebody at your house, like siblings or a parent that's doing this with you, you can do it by yourself. All you need is two chairs and your Chinese jump rope. So for a level one, we would just hook it behind the legs on one chair and the other chair and just have it a couple inches off the ground. And then if we can do the foot pattern for that one, and the chair makes it already parallel, bonus, um, then we can move it up a little higher. If we can succeed at this level, then we can move it up to a level two, which would be mid-calf. And then if we can succeed at that level, you might have legs that are longer on your chair. These are elementary chairs. You can move it up one more time. And now you have the height for level three. So you can have lots of fun with a Chinese jump rope and you don't even need anybody else to do it. So we hope you have fun with your Chinese jump roping.